Hi you guys, today I'm excited to bring you the new CoverGirl 2016 line. This is for the spring and I've got four new products that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm going to start with the primer because it goes on the face first. Um, but it is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Oily Skin. They have three different ones. Um, they have one for dry, combination, and oily skin. Um, I think I could probably get away with combination skin, but I definitely really do like to minimize uh, shine, you know, because I want to rely on my highlight and not on my oily skin uh, for that. <laughs> It says that it is designed for your unique skin type, True Blend Primer for oily skin, minimizes shine, breakout, and creates a smooth canvas for perfect foundation application. And it says, easy breezy tip, apply a dime size amount to face before applying makeup. And it has, uh, before is like italicized. Um, I really don't know why anyone would um, put on a primer after their makeup, but that's, um, that's okay. Yeah, this has uh, just as much product as any other primer that I have. Um, I have, I think, two different ones, another drugstore, and then I have um, Hourglass and Smashbox, and they all have one fluid ounce. Um, so yeah, they have the same amount, and I just find that this, um, I'm not sure, like, it comes out, like, really... Like, if you can see, I don't want to waste any more product, but it's kind of just, like, dropping out. So it is pretty liquidy. It's not thick. Um, and then you kind of just blend it out. I know I applied, like, way too much. Hey, puppy. You can see my dog in the background. Hopefully she's not distracting. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like it absorbs into the skin, um, you know, pretty well. But I feel like, like, it's it's kind of, like, just a little bit greasy. And it just doesn't do too much for my skin like I didn't really feel like it added really anything like it I don't really feel like it really minimized shine and um, I don't know maybe it's just me or maybe I just didn't test it out for long enough to really notice the difference but I'm just not really feeling anything spectacular or special I mean sure it's not that expensive at the drugstore it's not like you're gonna spend like 50 bucks on it but um, I don't know like for me it just didn't really stand out not stellar. I mean, it didn't do anything bad. It didn't make my makeup look terrible underneath. So at least it doesn't, um, yeah, I guess make your makeup look worse. So it doesn't like not work, but it's just, it's not anything special to me. So the only primer I've really, really been able to notice like that, it really, really helped is my Smashbox uh, pore minimizing primer, which I did really feel like it did minimize the pores, especially like in this area and that it really just helped stay not oily, like it helped him minimize shine and minimize pores, like it did say. Um, so yeah, just, mm, eh, 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 it's okay. They also came out with a new blush. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. Um, it's in the shade, or I have it in the shade Medium. They have three different shades, light, medium, and dark. Uh, this one is in the color Medium Rose. And um, the shade is pretty much just that. It is a medium rose color. Um, I'm wearing it today, you can probably see, like, it's just a nice pink color. I really do like it. I was not expecting to like it this much. Um, I really feel like it lasts throughout the day. I was noticing after six, seven hours, I was still noticing pretty vibrant color, um, you know, fading just a little bit, but, but it's still definitely there. It's something that you can notice, something that other people would see you and, you know, say like, oh, you know, she, you know, her cheeks are rosy, you know, and not, and not, you know, not notice anything. Um, CoverGirl, I don't think has ever really had anything like stellar as far as blush goes. Actually, the whole, I feel like drugstore as far as like Revlon, Maybelline, L'Oreal, and, um, CoverGirl <laughs> are lacking uh, really good blushes, like really good pigmented blushes, like a full line. I know a lot of people like the Maybelline, like True Bouncy blushes, like a bajillion years ago. And I think, I feel like that's one of the only blushes I feel like was ever like really, really talked about. But even then, those were not that good. So um, yeah, I like this one. It sucks that there are only three different shades. I'm probably going to pick up the dark one because the light one will probably be a little bit too light on my skin. I don't really like to feel like ashy and kind of like washed out, but um, the dark one would probably suit my skin just as well and I love dark blushes. Um, 
you know, even if they're not that dark, just in the darker family. Um, so I'll probably pick that one up, but this one, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yes. Now on to two different products here, uh, the first of which are these uh, CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Balms. They are vitamin infused balms. Um, apparently they have vitamins C and E and they have grapeseed oil and some other things that are supposed to help like really moisturize the skin like avocado butter, things like that, um, that are really supposed to help moisturize the skin. I'm wearing one right now. I just have one layer on because I kind of wanted to show you how they can be built up to create something um, a little bit more full color. See there's one more and then I'll... So there you can definitely tell it is buildable and you can really add some color. But for this shade only. The other shade is pretty much a My Loves But Better shade already. It's in the color... This one's in Caramel and then this one is in Spice. Um, Spice, I don't know if I really feel like that name really suits the... I mean like I feel like it suits the color I'm wearing on my lips but not really the packaging so I don't really feel like the packaging and my what comes out of my lips are really like truly matching but that's okay um but yes this one is pigmented and the other one is not this one is very sheer and I'm finding that yeah like can you even see that like at all like no even after building it up like there's still really nothing there that's my dryer. <laughs> There's still really nothing there. Um, so yeah, this one, I mean, if you just want to add something to the lips just to create moisture, um, the only thing is the moisture is only going to last for about an hour. Um, and even this color will only last for about an hour on the lips. I feel like it kind of does leave it tinted just for maybe like another hour or so, just like a little tint. It's not going to be this vibrant. Um, but even then the moisture will kind of wear off. Um, but I find that, you know, it's so easy to reapply. It's pretty sheer, so you can just put it on and you don't have to worry about, you know, having a mirror in front of you or anything. Um, I would just be at work, just, you know, between calls, and I would just put some more on and feel moisturized, and it would feel good. The, the formula is a little bit thin, and um, it does claim, um, at least I think it claims to be like a, a leading, no, maybe that's just the other one. Um, but... I think it definitely did get its thing from what I talked about as my favorite lip balm, which is the Sugar Balms um, by Fresh. And I have a couple of these, and these definitely have pigment also. These are definitely high-end. See, there's color there. And then the other one, this is in Berry. Like, these definitely have color. These are just samples though. This is a full size one. This one doesn't have any color, um, but this one doesn't have SPF. These do. These do have SPF and these um, balms do not. Um, this one also has vitamin A as well as C and E and these balms do not. Um, these are like $24 and these are 7 or 8 something around there. Um, so yeah, definitely you're getting your money's worth when you're spending the $24. These are thick and moisturizing for hours and hours and hours and I really feel like they're worth the price. Um, I love these to death and I wear them all the time just because I like to have something that you don't have to like worry too much about like at work or at home. Um, but yeah, so these aren't really the most stellar products. Um, if you just want like a light color on your lips and you don't really mind reapplying it throughout the day, I mean, there's really nothing wrong with them. They do add some moisture, you know, not as long, but they do add some moisture, um, so it really just depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for like really lasting color, moisturizing all day, you know, it's not going to be the, the thing for you. Um, another thing is I, I really feel like they could have switched up the packaging a little bit um, because this is just a regular CoverGirl lipstick and then this is the O Sugar one and it's pretty much the same thing. Another thing about this is that like it has like it's almost like if you're comparing, I hate... I kind of hate that these have like a little twisty thing. Like it really helps keep them like together if they're in your purse, like it's not gonna open up. But like you can tell this has like a bright, like citrus lemony scent. And then this, like, like it's like half. Like it's there and then it's like also kind of like old makeup-y waxy, like the original CoverGirl lipsticks, they're just, mm bad bad scent like like really heavy old lipstick grandma-y 
Um, whereas this is just a little bit less with like just a hint of lemon just to kind of get you by. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's downsides. It's, it's not terrible, but it's not that great. Hi, Days. Now on to what everybody's probably really, really wanting to know about. Um, these are the CoverGirl True Naked palettes, eyeshadow palettes. They claim on a big sticker in the front shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. You've probably heard about that by now. Um, you know, that they're claiming to be like a high-end $50 palette. I wonder who they're talking about. Naked, Urban Decay. Everybody knows about these. Everybody, everybody, everybody and their mother knows about these. These are not my favorite by any means. They're definitely like very big on shimmer. There's definitely some matte shades in here. Um, you know, this one's not like super duper shimmer, matte, matte, and then you get matte, matte. So, you know, nothing really like too matte, but these are gorgeous colors already, you can tell. As you can see here, here are the original shades, and then these are... Also, this was like $11, and you get eight shades here. And then this was about 52 I think they're like $52 or $53 now, and these have 12 shades. Um, so you're getting four shades less in here, and you can tell over here that we're pretty close to, um, you know, having some dupes here. Um, and then this shade here is pretty similar to Half Baked. And this shade is kind of similar, I feel like, to this um, Dark Horse. And then this one is kind of similar to Smog. And I'll kind of just try to swatch these. It's gonna gonna be kind of hard now. So there are those two, and those are pretty similar. And this is the CoverGirl one, and this is the Urban Decay. I will also swatch some of the matte shades that seem to appear. It's kind of hard to do it on my skin tone since I'm a little bit darker. You can probably not see. This is CoverGirl and Urban Decay. Not the best swatches here for something a little bit darker. And then I'll do Half Baked, and then the dupe from CoverGirl. So this is CoverGirl, and this is Half Baked. This is CoverGirl, this is Half Baked. So you're not getting quite the same, and you can tell that Half Baked is definitely more pigmented and more just vibrant than um, the CoverGirl shade. They do actually have names that you can see back here. I think it's called sun-kissed um so yeah another downside you're getting the the names back here and not on here um what is good about these is that they are compact they're really small as you can see as opposed to the naked palettes which are kind of long um they're almost the same in height but it's definitely longer but i mean there are more shades in here again you're getting what you you pay for um and i am actually wearing these today, the Goldens. Um, I have, I'm going to try to see if I can make this work, turn my autofocus on. On this eye, I am wearing this golden shade mostly on the lid. I'm wearing this shade in the outer third, this deep, deep shade, like right there in the crease and in the outer V. And then this shade in the crease and like up here in the crease and then this bright shade in the inner corner and then I, I did apply these wet as it does say on the back uh, wet apply wet for a more dramatic look um, and I did apply these wet this side I'm wearing with primer and this side I'm wearing without primer so you can tell even without primer these are pretty good they're pretty uh, shimmery right off the bat something that you definitely notice um, And again, look at this blush. Look how gorgeous this blush is. I love it. I love it. So yeah, um, you know, after you get the close-ups, you kind of see, you know, what you get. Um, so they are lasting, especially in the, even with that primer, they do last, um, as you can see. And they don't really need that primer to add that vibrancy with water. Without water, they're a little bit less vibrant and a little bit more suitable for every day. As you can tell, this is not the most um, subtle eyeshadow look. It's a little bit more dramatic 
and I find that it does kind of go with the whole naked in that sense as there's only about two matte shades and two matte shades in here um, and then the rest are kind of shimmery and uh, metallic um, so that's kind of what you're getting you know same kind of tone and it does say shades like a leading palette and you kind of you know you're getting shades like a leading palette this has some goldens and then and just to kind of touch on the roses you can see how some of these again in the beginning Daisy I feel like this one that I just kind of matched up here this color and that color right there are pretty similar um, but I also find that this almost leans on the more purpley side than it does on um, you know like more of the pinks that the, the Naked 3 does have um, you can see that these two like the very two last shades I feel like both of these are supposed to be like pretty much exactly the same as you can see you know it's not like super duper in focus um, but yeah you can tell that it's you know kinda has that like like reddish shimmer in it and then these are kinda the same sorry that it's not like I said in focus but um, I'll swatch them next to each other and you just have to remember that like which one has which on it So there is Urban Decay and there is CoverGirl up here. Again, you know, just more vibrant. And then I will swatch the, I just need to remember, Urban Decay on the ring finger, CoverGirl on the middle finger. Almost in this case, CoverGirl almost did better. CoverGirl, Urban Decay. CoverGirl, Urban Decay, CoverGirl, Urban Decay. See how this one is not as vibrant as that one up there? So you definitely got some hit and misses uh, there. Um, they're just not as long wearing. Um, I find that with the roses that the water definitely does help, you know, applying them wet, it really does help them stand out and have more of a vibrancy. Yeah, I am wearing the roses palette in the video that I'm uploading. Um, today which is Thursday so it'd be the what is it I think the 21st yeah so 21st and I'm wearing it um in the vi the video I'm talking about is the lips and hair favorites um so I'm wearing this in that video but I didn't use any um I didn't apply them wet so they're not as vibrant and um I wasn't really focusing on the eyes so I don't know if you can really tell but they just were they were okay um but definitely one of the best um drugstore palettes that we've had um, and you know the newest one too um, and the shades are just buttery I almost feel like like I have a bit of fallout you know coming out um, fallout is something that I'm not as picky about anymore I kinda it was so funny because Jacqueline Hill was talking about in her favorites video like how she doesn't really mind fallout that much because she knows like how hard it is to like not have fallout and I feel the same way like I don't even really care that much anymore. I can just kind of dust it off and it's not that big of a deal as long as what I get on my eye look is really, really nice and really pigmented and lasts all day, um, which these do. So I like these. I would recommend these. I really think you should try them and I want to know what you guys think below if you've tried them or if you want to see another look with them or whatever. I'm really down for any kind of suggestions. Um, I love to hear from you guys. I think I'm running out of space, so I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.